Steven with Parts Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the blower wheel fan in the Samsung dryer. The tools needed are listed in the description below. Let's get started. The blower fan is designed to pull air through the dryer's heating assembly through the drum and blow air out the exhaust ducting. If it is damaged, it may cause vibrations while running or may prevent air from flowing through your dryer properly. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the dryer. With access to the back of the dryer, remove these two screws. Next, place your foot at the bottom of the dryer, place your hands on the top and pull towards you until the top cover releases. This may require some force. Now, remove these four Phillips screws. Next, gently lift up on the control panel to release it, then tilt forward, being careful as it's still connected by wires. Then, remove the two electrical connectors by depressing the locking tab, gently wiggling until it releases, and remove the wires from the retainers. Once the wires are removed, you can separate the control panel from the chassis. Next, remove these two Phillips screws to remove the door. Then, firmly grasp the door and lift up and out to remove. Now, remove these four screws. Next, remove these two Phillips screws beneath the door opening. Now, lift up on the panel to release it from these two retaining tabs, being careful as it's still connected to the door switch wire. Be careful as you'll be working around sharp edges. Disconnect the wire by wiggling and pulling until it releases. Then, lift up on the panel assembly to release it from the chassis. Now, remove the lint filter by grabbing and lifting up. Next, disconnect the moisture sensor wiring harness by depressing the locking tab and fish the drum light wire through the opening. Then, remove the three screws on the lint duct Pull out and down to remove. Now remove the four screws on the front drum assembly. Then lift up on the left side Pivot out to release the locking tabs from the slots and lift up on the right side to remove the assembly. Pull the bottom towards you, being careful as it's still connected by a wire. Then remove the wire from the retainer. Next, remove the screws on the upper frame plate. Then, fish the wiring harness through the opening. Now, 
Now, remove the frame plate by pulling towards you and lifting up. After locating the idler pulley, carefully slide your arm in. Then, press the idler pulley to the left side of the dryer to release tension on the belt and carefully slide the belt off the drive motor and idler pulley. Next, lift up on the front of the drum and slide the belt off. Before pulling the drum, make note of what way the baffles are facing. With a baffle positioned at the bottom, the notch side faces right. You will need to position the drum the same direction when installing. Now, lift the drum off the rear rollers and remove from the dryer. Now, remove these two screws on the duct connector and lift the connector off. The blower wheel is held onto the motor shaft using a 14 millimeter nut. This nut has reverse threads, so we'll need to turn it right or clockwise to loosen, the opposite of a standard thread. Using an adjustable wrench, grip the shaft nut located on the back of the motor next to the drive pulley. Then, while holding the wrench and shaft in place, use a 14 millimeter socket to remove the nut. Remember that the threads are reverse. This may take some force to break loose. With the nut removed, the wheel should slide off the motor shaft. However, on some models like ours, the manufacturer uses glue to hold the nut and blower wheel fan in place. The glue is very strong and may prevent your blower wheel from breaking free. To remove a fan that is stuck in place with glue, use a heat gun to heat up the end of the motor shaft and center of the blower wheel, being careful not to melt any plastic or damage other components. Remember, when using a heat gun, parts can get very hot, so wear gloves to avoid burns. Once the glue is heated and pliable, the fan should break loose and can be slid off the motor shaft. If you have a bad blower wheel fan and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your dryer to make sure you get the correct part. To install the fan, align the inner flat side of the wheel with the flat side of the drive shaft and slide into place. Then, reinstall the reverse thread nut by turning left or counterclockwise and tightening down while holding the rear of the shaft with an adjustable wrench. With the wheel installed, spin the fan and motor shaft to ensure it is rotating properly. Then, reinstall the duct connector and two screws. To install the drum, you'll need to make sure to position it so it sits on top of the rear drum rollers. To install the belt, lift up on the front of the drum, slide it over, and gently work the belt to the center of the drum. It is very important to make sure the belt is not twisted. Next, reach inside the dryer and place the belt over the drive motor and beneath the idler pulley. This may be tricky as you need to guide the belt in place by touch as it's difficult to see. With the belt back on the motor and idler pulley, it should rotate when you rotate the drum. Only rotate the drum clockwise. Spinning the drum the wrong direction may cause the belt to come loose from the motor or idler pulley. Now, install the upper frame plate by aligning the tabs on the left and right side, inserting and pulling the main body to align until it seats back in place.
then reinstall the five screws. Then fish the wiring harness through the opening and reinstall the harness into the retainer. Next, place the door switch wire back into the retainer Insert the top of the front assembly and align the retaining tabs on the sides. You may need to raise the drum for the rollers to seat properly under the drum and allow the tabs to seat in place. Now reinstall the four screws. Next, install the lint duct followed by the screws. Now, reconnect the moisture sensor wiring harness by aligning and pushing until it snaps in place and rerun the drum light wire through the opening and retainer. Then reinstall the lint filter. To install the front panel, start by aligning the slots on the panel with the tabs on the chassis. Then tilt the panel up and reinstall the door switch wire by aligning and pushing until it seats back in place. Make sure the wires don't get pinched between the front panel and chassis. Then push the panel until it seats back in place. Then reinstall the six screws. With the hinge swung outward, we'll first need to start by aligning this screw with this opening and set the door in place. Then reinstall the two screws. To install the control panel, start by inserting the tabs on the panel into the openings on the chassis. Now reconnect the two electrical connectors by aligning, pushing till they snap in place, and reinstall the wires into the retainers. Then tilt the control panel back in place and reinstall the four screws. To reinstall the top cover, make sure the rear of it, which is noted by the gray pieces, is facing the rear of the dryer. Align the top cover guides to the opening in the top cover. Continue to push forward until it locks back in place. Next, reinstall the two screws. With everything put back together, plug the dryer in, test it out, make sure everything is working properly. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things, please consider subscribing.